everyone. Welcome back to A Dash of OT. I just wanted to share this video about a model that uh, we use in occupational therapy. So uh, this is called the PEO model. It is based off of Mary Law, and I will put the citation in the comment. Um, but essentially, it is part of a person, environment, and occupational aspect of a person's life. And all of these three things form together to promote occupational performance. So this was a diagram that I made for one of my projects, um, specifically a model comparison. Um, so in that, there was the person. He was a male, 51, a father, an ex-husband, newspaper journalist. Um, he survived a stroke. And that's why he was seeking occupational therapy. He has values including honesty, trust, and he's very passionate about public issues. The environment that most of his occupations take place is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He lived in a two-bedroom apartment. He has a work office and he did a lot of traveling. So all of his destinations that he ended up, those are also included in his environments. Um, he also liked to travel for work, and his son lived in Colorado. His occupations included newspaper journalist, cooking with others, um, being a father and a friend. Some of his activities included cooking, writing, typing, reading, biographies, and history. And the tasks that he had to perform and liked to perform were meal preparation, writing, a journal, and traveling for work. So all of these things encompass one being and you can't live with one without the other two. If there is an imbalance, this is where occupational performance is uh, experiencing a deficit or a decline in the person's life and they can seek out occupational therapy to work on ways and strategies to improve their occupational engagement and return to what it used to be like for that person or how to adapt to new ways and maybe even new activities that the person has yet to discover. So thank you for listening to this and I hope that this visual was helpful. I am a visual learner myself so I will probably be making a lot more diagrams like this one here. So thank you so much. Have a great day.